What's up guys? Welcome to Celerity King's World and today we are doing an oil change on Jeep Wrangler. We're almost uh, halfway. We're gonna show you how we did it and hopefully that's gonna help all the Jeep Wrangler owner who's planning to do your oil change by your own. Alright, if you're already setting up his tools, we're about to change oil for this guy. You know, we got the Wrangler specialist here. All right, so first of all, we get a turf and we got underneath of this Jeep Wrangler and Jeep Wrangler specialist PO is right there with Tom, aka PO <laughs> and we are actually i'm gonna just get a light hand me the light and let me show these people all right so it's right there you can see this little nut right there you have to open that and this is the this is the tank for oil tank right mm -hmm. so this is where all the oil goes the oil pan oil pan yeah and um this is this is the way all the oil comes out we call the spoiled one and you need a bucket for that because you don't want to drop everything on your floor Otherwise, it's gonna stain. So it's easy, very simple. And after that, you need to change your filter. Filter is belongs is right it's, there. It's right there. It belongs right there. It's it's very good to use one of these tools. It's a rubber strap. It comes out really easy. You don't re need any wrench or anything for the filter. Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit because of the heat and cold, whatever the reason is, or dirt. So you strap this around your filter and you do lefty loosey and your filter comes out really easy. So so tell them the, the, the trick about the lefty and righty thing. I don't know, everybody pretty much knows it. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, you know. Lefty -loosey, yes. So you, This is how you know which way you have to uh, spin. Yeah, if you so, want to lose anything to yeah. the left, anything tight to the right. So, so it's, it's is taking very out simple, filter. very easy. You see how and the oil drops. This is the oil, the oil, the oil filter. This is the oil and filter. That's it. And the you recycle those to recycle. all the zone. You know, you cannot, you cannot throw this stuff everywhere. You have to take it to the specific place. And let's go. Let's go out. Let me take you guys to the other side. We can also show them what oil we bought. Yes. Let's go. Let me show you guys uh, the oil and the filters we got from. AutoZone actually you can get it from anywhere but AutoZone was near nearby so we just took a walk from Pio's house so this is this is the oil you have to get for your chip mobile one 20 pot 0w20 and this is synthetic I'm using you need a small one also six pot so we need a big one and the small one the big one is about like five five equivalent of the five small one so we need to get a strong one to make it six. This is the filter. Comes with it actually. If you got a five quart one, the filter comes right free with it. Yeah, filter comes in. It's a deal going on in AutoZone right now. But you buy the six quart of oil, the filter comes in with it. So mm -hmm. pretty good, pretty good deal, sweet deal. Good deal, yeah. It's very good deal. And we I also got well, one thing we noticed actually. I didn't notice that. So when you open the hood, you saw this engine cap was missing. This is dangerous, right? All this, all this, all this oil probably was spilling, and this is the reason why this part is wet. And it wasn't really safe, but I don't know. I'm not a car guy, so I didn't notice that. But yep, this guy. This did. right here. So we got a Very cap important. also. We got the cap. The cap is right there. So. We just didn't walk in and buy the cap. We actually had to uh, match the model of the car, yours, and then, um, you know, get the right size of the cap so it can fit. So let's try the cap. Let's put the cap in and see if that actually fit or not. All right, guys. So we are closing the oil pan. Open nut. And the nut, we are closing it with the nut. So when you pour oils from the engine, it's not gonna drip. 
we do 12 foot pound for this all right so there's another thing you have to remember on the torque right mm -hmm. there is specific direction for that so you don't want to tie too much this knot right so you there's a number for all the pounds like which uh number you want to use for this knots and you know you don't have you're not, you're not gonna tie too much or leave it loose as well it's gonna be uh under the perf perfect uh tightness right yep the spear is tightening the knot and then after that we're gonna pour the oil and also change the filter foot 12 foot all right i'm feeling like i'm tightening it should be good yep yep all right so we are about to uh, change the filter now so there's a trick about uh, uh putting the filter on so this is the filter. old one old filter and this is the new one so every time you put a new filter it's uh, most of the people knows already but you take a new oil put it in your pinky rub it around this rubber seal so next time when you take this this one off next time when you do the oil change if you don't put the new oil on the seal this will never come off this will be the so pain in your make it mm, easy behind make it easy this is for uh, make it easy when you when you uh, open it yes for, for, the, for the future reference yeah okay, okay all right That's a good so this is and and put like a little bit of the new oil in this one too mm -hmm. just to ease out the new filter so it goes uh, goes smoothly when when cycles the uh, cycles the oil oils. yes all right all right so let's go let's put the new filter let's on let's put the new filter on so now we are putting the oil. That's so you can tie it enough uh, to make sure that this is actually tight, no right? No leak, yeah. Okay. So if you have leak in the filter, you're gonna lose oil. And then? Then you run into trouble. Yes. And more money. You're spending more money. Yep. This is just a little bit. Look at the color difference. Look at the new oil. Look at the old oil right now in the pan. That's called burnt oil, man. Changing oil is very important. People who own a car. Today we're learning very easy way to change oil for Jeep Wrangler. Very simply, you can change, uh, save a couple bucks. Goes right there. So this is the spot. Before you pour the oil, you gotta filter, change the filter, put the new filter in. Make sure don't leave it open. And also the other one, the oil pan. Make sure you. Uh, tie the bolt and close it properly. I need the filter wrench just to tighten up the. Uh -huh. This is yep. filter wrench. This is good. Good stuff, man.